Howdy friends, I'm Mike. I'm an adventurer and a dad. Today I'm going to talk about suspension for trucks. Before we get started really quick, I want to say that ARB did send me this uh, suspension system uh, free of charge. Uh, in exchange for video and photo assets that they can then use in their marketing efforts. They don't get to preview this video before I post it and I'm in under no obligation to say good things about it. Um, however, I really hope that I do say good things about it because it looks pretty awesome. While you don't need any fancy suspension for overlanding or just casual off-roading, the more comfort and control you have when driving through rough roads with your family, the happier and safer you're going to be. To that end, Old Man Emu has sent us a new suspension to test out for our 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. We have here the Old Man Emu BP51 suspension system for Tacoma with springs set up for heavy constant load. We'll get into more of the install and performance in future videos, but for now, here are the important details about this suspension setup. The shock body and most of the parts are made of 6061 aluminum, including the remote reservoir bodies. This saves weight while maintaining high strength. The coilovers have adjustable preload for fine-tuning the ride height, as well as X5K grade steel coil springs. The coilovers also have Teflon line steel spherical bearings on the bottom mounts. The shock absorber bodies are also 6061 aluminum with a 51 millimeter bore diameter. The shocks have a plastic shaft guard to keep the rocks and junk from impacting the chrome shock shaft. This is also replaceable and adjustable. So what do shocks even do? What shocks really do is convert the kinetic energy of the springs into the heat energy in the oil inside the shock, which then gets dissipated through the body into the air under the truck. This effect is primarily to stop oscillation of the springs. Without shocks, the springs act like a pendulum and they swing between compression and extension until all the energy is dissipated. And generally that takes too long and is uncomfortable and will make you sick. So shock absorbers dissipate that energy a lot faster so that you can hit one bump and then be ready for the next one. Shocks also keep the tires on the ground and the axles off the bump stops. If the tires are up off the ground, you have no control. You have no braking, no steering, no traction. Shocks slow down the compression of the springs so that the axles don't slam into the bump stops, and they also slow down the rebound so that you don't bounce into the air. On regular shocks, the compression and rebound are set at the factory and are not adjustable. On the BP51s, you have an adjustment on each shock to change the rebound and compression for the weight of the vehicle, the terrain you're driving, the speed you want to go. The BP in the name refers to bypass. In a regular shock, there's only one piston that squeezes oil through a tiny aperture to slow down compression. Actually, I don't really know how tiny it is. It might be big, I don't know. Um, but that slows down uh, the rebound and the compression. In a bypass shock, depending on where the piston is in the stroke, there are ways for the oil to get around the piston, making the shock like softer initially and then ramping up to be stiffer at the end of the travel. The BP51s are internal bypass, so you won't see any evidence on the outside of the shock. If you were to watch like Ultra 4 Racing or Monster Jam, you'll see big shocks with a bunch of crazy tubes sticking out of them. Those are the external bypass shocks. As I said, the front springs are X5K grade steel coils rated for heavy constant load. The rear springs are just steel leaf springs also rated for extra load. As I mentioned in a previous video, the springs that come on the Toyota Tacoma are really not suitable for loading, even though it's a pickup truck. These springs have five main leaves in the pack, each with metal shims at the bolt and plastic isolators at the end, hopefully to keep them quiet. They have not one, but two overload springs at the bottom of the stack. Hopefully this will help keep our loads from sagging the truck out or bottoming out when loaded. Remote reservoir, they look cool, but what even are they? The remote reservoir on these shocks is there to handle the expansion of the fluid inside the shock as it gets hot. Now, all shocks have to have some empty space in the design to accommodate for the expansion of the working fluid. Remember, the shocks convert kinetic energy into heat energy. So this is where the energy from the bumps and the spring oscillation is going. Heat causes the working fluid to expand. 
if it was just air in the shocks, the air would like mix with the oil and foam up and then the whole thing would stop working. So they used nitrogen to prevent foaming and then separate it from the shock to keep the piston travel as high as possible. So there's not something at the top, the big void at the top uh, for the fluid. All four of these shocks in this suspension setup have remote reservoirs for this purpose. The other things that these shocks have that regular shocks don't have is damping adjustment. There are a lot of variables with vehicle suspension. The big ones are spring rate or how stiff the spring is, vehicle mass, and damping. Since vehicle mass and spring rate aren't usually feasible to change for the conditions, these shocks let you adjust the compression and rebound damping for the conditions. There are two collars on each shock body that let you dial in the damping to suit your needs and the conditions and wherever you happen to be. So this is by far the nicest suspension I've ever had for a vehicle and I'm super excited uh, to get it on and take it down some dirt roads. If you thought this video was informative, please hit that like button before you leave. And if you have any comments or questions, post those down there too. If you wanna find out more about how these feel on the trail, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Happy trails.